Happy full moon in Aquarius, August 15th, 2019. We are in the sun sign of Leo. And this meditation is based on, or the ideas of the meditation is based on astrology, which is the best way to guide your meditation. And even better than that is what you're experiencing. But you'll find that the astrology for you is actually linked to the things that you're experiencing and regardless if you feel that it's not linked which is kind of hard if you go through it all and once I explain everything on here uh, then you can see what meditation would be good for you right now at the full moon so welcome to Chi Life Center thank you guys for watching this video we're gonna start out with just breathing. Inhale through the nose. The chest rises, the stomach expands, and then exhale. The chest relaxed, pull the navel in. And that's how we breathe, just a nice deep breathing. Inhale through the nose. Chest rise, stomach rise. Exhale through the nose, chest relax in at the navel. Inhale, chest rise. Belly expands as well. Exhale, chest relax. Pull in at the navel. So you just want to get yourself in a comfortable position or just watch this video and take notes. That's the best way to watch this video. We won't do an actual meditation, but you can um, look it up yourself to find the right meditation for you okay so we have a full moon in Aquarius and what does this mean Aquarius is an air sign and with air signs it's all about communication okay they all work with communication with words with expressing themselves okay so there's always a need for that at the full moon in any given air sign with Aquarius Aquarius ha has that energy of water right so they are really in tune with emotions and people who have strong water elements in their chart or or is a water sign they can relate to it every sign can benefit from the full moon regardless of what it is it's just depends if you're willing to work on yourself so with this Aquarius full moon, it has to do with relationships. So anything that has to do with relationship issues is good to work on. Seeking balance, okay? Since Aquarius is in the seventh house and is also in Leo, um, Libra, pardon me, Libra, okay? So Libra is all about balance. So finding balance in your relationship, in your work in every aspect of your life is about balancing it so a meditation and balance you might find that very strong if you're a Libra or any other air sign is just finding balance in your relationship and your life and feeling about uh, how you are regarding your success your talents your abilities okay so if, if you are an air sign or you feel that you're having issues with your abilities then this is the full moon to meditate on that okay looking at love and being in the sun sign of Leo right now some of you may want to feel that you want to have more strength and, and confidence so working on maybe your strength your confidence some of you might want to work on your health okay especially if you have a strong um, Leo somewhere in your chart or a strong um, or strong Libra even that okay strong strong Libras in your chart and strong Leos will find that there's something to do with health or just finding the right balance for your health and for your wellness okay 
and that's going to be a big issue. Self-confidence is definitely a big meditation for this full moon and also the balance between the heart and the mind is truly the big meditation right now okay so you want to center your heart you want a meditation of center your heart and finding a balance between the heart and the mind and this will help your speech as well okay so if you feel that you're going to need help with maybe speaking in front of a large crowd or speaking to someone to express something that you don't want to do, this is a great time to do a meditation for that. Love and harmony. So it's all going around with the heart and balance between the heart and the mind. So a lot of these things will be repeated but in different ways so that it will hopefully connect to you. When you hear it, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. You know, I could say something one way and person's like mm, I don't relate to that but saying it more and in different ways they're like oh okay yeah I can see that okay another aspect would be uh, a strong love and harmony in your life bringing that in to your life maybe expressing yourself through poems and can open the heart chakra um, open the mind song music pictures um, and and if you are naturally romantic in nature, maybe you still need to express that where you've been neglecting that and then you need to open your heart chakra that way through meditation, but also through painting, drawing, um, songs, uh, any kind of creative movement, okay? Another one, another meditation is to be fearless. So maybe you wanna open your heart and open your mind to be fearless of um, overcoming your fears of doing uh, something that you are um, inspired to do that makes you happy. It could be work-related or just for the joy of it, okay? Um, having enough energy in your body, maybe you want to do that to bring balance, balancing the heart and mind or, or working on the heart chakra. This way you can have energy to do what you need to do. So sometimes there's one blockage, that can open up for something else that you need. Um, even courage, okay? Um, especially if you you have to lead people. You you know you have an, a, a position where you have to lead people, maybe or becoming a self starter more, uh, opening up the heart chakra, working on the mind, having that connection can help. Another big one is if you are feel like you're experiencing a situation where you need to have more clarity, okay? Um, when it comes to choosing someone in your life, more like love. So if you have to choose someone in your life or you're in a, in a relationship and you just need to maybe um, open up to the possibility and the idea of love, that's another way you can just work solely on the heart chakra or work on connecting the mind and heart. This one would be more working on the heart chakra to have clarity when it comes to love, okay? So clarity when it comes to love and partnership, this is working solely on the heart chakra, okay? Another meditation is especially if you're new to it, it's just breathing and stretching meditation. Let the breathing and the movement be your meditation. Something very simple where you're sitting on the ground and you're, you're doing stretches that maybe you know about or you know already and you are breathing. Let the breath and the slow movement and the stretching to release tension from the body. That's another good one, okay? Connecting to that is also releasing emotional tension okay that's working on the mind and heart uh, connection okay so release tension from your mind your body maybe you've you've had a lot of conflict at home okay um, and this conflict maybe someone is very bossy towards you and you just need to change your lifestyle or change something about your relationship with yourself and allowing someone um, whether we are conscious of it or not, allowing someone to be that negative and stir up um, conflict in, in your home, okay? So peace in the home could be a meditation, a heart chakra meditation, and kind of radiating that within and around you, right? More like a, a heart chakra and your aura, okay? 
And usually when you work on your chakras and you work on extending your aura, uh, people that you don't want around you won't want to be in that type of um, energy, right? They, they, they don't want to be in that type of love energy, right? So it will de de detach um, people like that. So something that I wanted to say is the, whenever there's a full moon, the aspect of the full moon is the opposition, the sun and the moon, right? So whenever we have that, you're having the the sun, which is 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 the identity of self and the ego. Okay, so that's the sun, the identity of self and the ego. So we're focusing on ourselves. We're focusing on our, on our ego, and then when that matches up with emotions and feelings of which is represented by the moon. The moon is emotions and feelings. So when you when you match up emotions and feelings, and then the ego and the individuality, okay, that self identity, it's it's going to be a big powerful mixture, and it could either be positive. If, if we want to work on it and then the negative would be just you know um, being carefree and, and, and doing crazy stuff you know so it just depends on how you're going to use that moon whether it's going to be something to uplift yourself to have fun or something to enhance all the negativity so you can either enhance it on the on the day of the full moon and the 24 uh, the 12 hours or 24 hours of the full moon um, highest um, uh, impact for us here on earth or you could use it for something positive so that's just the aspect of the moon that combination of the sun the sun representing ego and individuality and the moon representing our feelings and our emotions okay another another thing that i wanted to say and just reiterating it uh love so working on self-love or working on self-confidence okay those are um the the three ways we can look at it is self-love okay um maybe healing the heart opening the heart to loving self um self-confidence or having the next one is having the connection for the heart and mind. So working on the heart at this full moon, it's really the key to everything that astrologically is focused on this moon. So that's the one aspect that I'm focused on. And the Venus and Mars is very strong this full moon so even though it's a full moon in Aquarius any Venus issues and you can look into that and see how it relates to you and any Mars is issues and see how working on the heart whether and you would know by listening is it self-love issue um, is it mind and heart connection or is it uh, self-confidence for your meditation okay this full moon so see in which one you can work on. And if you find that um, any meditation that you want to look up, if you find that it's too complicated, a simple thing to do is finding your power hand, okay? And it's kind of much like a reiki in yourself. So finding your power hand, placing that at the heart center, okay? Placing the other hand over it. Spine is nice and straight. Shoulders down. Tuck in the chin. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. And if you're new to meditation, you want to make sure to do regular breathing. You don't have to do the, the Buddha breathing. The deep inhale, chest rise, belly expand, deep breath. And then exhale, chest relax, pull in the navel. Sometimes deep breathing can be too much for you if you're new. Okay? But you want to focus on clearing the heart just telling the mind the body to let go and this can be done and timing yourself if you wish or for as long as you can and feel that release and you don't want to sit there for a long time so the usual time is a, at least one minute just clearing the heart okay 
inhale through the nose exhale through the nose just letting go relaxing the body is what it is is letting go of the tension you're feeling and what it simply is is relaxing the body and you want to start by relaxing the shoulders and breathe and just focus on relaxing the shoulders for one minute and after that one minute you want to focus on you want to focus on healing your heart okay and what your focus is on focusing on is your actual situation okay whatever that negative situation is find a sentence to describe it and with that word power is to transmute that into something positive so whatever that negativity is rephrase it into something positive that you can handle okay whatever that will be okay and you don't want it to be negative you want to transition it it's at least for in, for example at least i know now i know how you truly feel or now i've learned how to handle that situation better so that's something simple that you can do okay that's if you find that um doing any kind of balancing of the mind and heart meditation um maybe too strenuous for you you can look it up and see what meditation is out there and definitely do that okay so this was a, a short meditation talk on what you can do for the full moon make sure to join me in classes for meditation um, and for yoga and other health and wellness classes and workshops and if you'd want your own private session definitely contact me i want to thank you for watching this video and hope that you guys have a wonderful full moon please message me with any questions that you have i'm happy to answer them and i'll see you next time peace